Hi, Amy the Fashion Toppings here, and you're probably wondering what this outfit is. <laughs> I'm in the middle of doing a refashion. This is a dress that I got at Altered State, and it there's most of Altered State's clothes come with a built-in second layer or a slip. This one didn't, and so you, I really couldn't wear a bra with it because the keyhole and then the sides were too low for me, so you'd see a little side boob. So I found a red sports bra. Let me put these down here. I found a red sports bra that matches this trim on here perfectly. So you're probably wondering, well, why am I wearing them all at once? Well, I'm gonna actually turn this red sports bra that I had in my drawer, I'm gonna turn it into a built-in bra for this dress. So the, what I needed to do is I needed to try it on, see where the dress lays on the bra, and I'm gonna draw a line. Make sure everything's pulled down tight. I'm gonna draw the outline of my dress on the sports bra. See, drawing a line. I wanna see where the dress hits on the bra. I'm actually gonna make a mark on the blue dress as well, right where the bra stops. See where the bra stops right here? I know this is where I'm gonna start sewing to attach the bra. And I'll need some help. I'll have to go down and have my kids do it. I need to also trace exactly where this falls on the bra as well this part this whole back part i'm going to trace it all and i do it on my mannequin except for my mannequin is it exactly my size i'm constantly having to move it around and and with this i want it to lay nice i don't want any puckering i'm actually doing it on my body so that i can tell where everything's going to fall <laughs> and where i need to sew so like i said i just put the dress on bra underneath it, traced where the dress hits on the bra, front and back, and I'll show you what's next. Okay, so as you can see, I have lines that show exactly where the dress falls on the bra. It's the front, and let me come this way. There is, and there's the back. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna safety pin a, pin a few places and then I'll use regular pins, but since I had to stretch this bra to get over the mannequin, I know if I put pins in it, the pins might pop out. So I'm gonna at least put a safety pin in it and then some regular pins. Okay, put one safety pin there. See, it's not gonna sit right on the mannequin because the mannequin's not my size but I need to make sure I match up my chalk lines. And then when I get underneath the armpit, my side seam of my bra and my side seam, I probably end up losing these, but I'm gonna try to keep these little straps for hanging it up, but I'll probably end up losing them. But I'm gonna go ahead and pin the side seams together. Okay, and then I'm gonna also follow my chalk line along the back of the bra. I wanna safety pin that as well. Like I said, I will go back and do regular pins, but I want at least one safety pin on each side so that when I pull it off, if I lose some pins, I'm not gonna have to start over. Okay. So I have to pick a safety pin on each side and take a peek, look around, make sure it looks kind of even. Okay, now that I've got it pinned in place, this is the daring part. I'm gonna cut the straps off of the sports bra. I'm actually gonna cut right along my dress
Cutting on my little chalk line. The nice thing about sports bras, they're not gonna fray. They're made out of that jersey. This is made out of a jersey knit. So it's not gonna fray, it's gonna roll, but it's not gonna fray, so I don't have to worry about finishing edges. Okay, got that one cut off. I gotta cut this side off. So I cut off the arm straps because I don't want those. I didn't have to cut anything on the chest line because it's already a finished edge underneath. I don't have to cut any of that because it's already hidden. All I did was cut off the arm straps. That's it. Right along the chalk line. So now you're not going to be able to see the red. Now is when I can start doing the little pins. Okay, so I'm going to pin my bra. Now if I want to do a rolled hem, I can take, I'm going to zoom in. Okay, so let's say your bra, you don't have a bra that matches your dress and you just want it to be hidden. Let's say you're using a white sports bra. See, I have this raw edge here and you, you want it that definitely to be hidden or you want a nice finished edge. You can fold it under. So take it, like it right here, and fold it towards the body. So then you have a nice fold on the top, and then pin it. So you folded it over. Then you have a nice finish on the inside. And I can do that all the way around. So it's a nice clean edge and then you'll be able to pin it and then sew and you'll have a nice clean edge. So let me finish pinning all the way around so we can take it to the sewing machine next and I'll be right back. Okay, so I pinned all the way around, trapping the bra on the inside, but like I said, if you're worried about the nice neat, other, you know, the, having the inside be nice and neat, just fold it over once and then pin. But no one's gonna see it so I'm not worried about it. So I'm gonna leave mine that way. I'm sure it's gonna drive some of you nuts but, like I said, if it drives you nuts, take your raw edge, fold it over, and pin it. And then you can sew it that way, and then you have a finished edge. Okay, so I'm going to take it to the sewing machine. And from the right side of the fabric, I'm just going to follow the current stitch line. So it will be invisible, you won't see it. And it's going to catch that on the inside, sewing that to my dress. I'm going to do that all the way around the bra. And on the inside... You will see I'm leaving the white lining of the bra in there. I have my finished edge here, which I don't have to sew on. I didn't cut it. It's the natural part of the bra. That's the neckline. All I have to do is sew around the arms and all the way around. I will have to attach the back. This is the inside of the bra. I will have to sew across the top of that. So all the way around. So I'm going to be sewing from here all the way around the back of the dress and I'll end up stopping here. I won't have to do anything across here because I left that part of the bra natural. Um, I didn't cut anything, so I don't need to sew there. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm, leaving, I'm gonna have a bra on the inside. So let's take it to the sewing machine and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, so slide, I slid my dress onto the sewing machine. I'm gonna sew from the right side of the fabric and I'm going to sew right on the current stitch line that's on the hem. You can't see it because it matches the dress, but I'm going to sew in the current stitch line. That, and I'm using blue thread that matches. I've got red thread in my bobbin because I want the back side to be red because you can see the bra is red. And uh, so I have red thread in my bobbin. I have blue thread up above. And I'm going to make sure that... I'm catching the red bra underneath while I sew. Start off with a thick stitch or back stitch. And I'm just following my current stitch line, checking. Checking ever so often, make sure that I'm catching all layers. I'm 
and slow. Taking my pins out as I go. There my side seams match up. I'm coming up to a side seam, so I'm just making sure that matches up. I sewed all the way around the bra and I'll show you what it looks like so on the inside so on the inside of this dress now I have a full bra elastic bottom it's going to hold everything in place hide everything that needs to be hidden and I can still wear my sundress without having to worry about it so it's just that easy. It's sewed a bra all the way around the borders. And you can kind of see. See? And then you can't see it on that side. You just have to double check as you're going, make sure that you're catching all layers of fabric. So let me go ahead and try this on and I'll show you how it works. But there we go. I, a built in bra. You cannot see this bra anywhere, it's completely invisible. And so that's an easy way for me to turn this dress into something that I couldn't wear before because the, the straps didn't allow for anything. Even a bandeau bra showed through right here. And so now I have a built-in bra. I don't have to worry about wearing it. And I'm sweating. It is so hot out. Okay. So easy way to turn a dress from a regular sundress into one that has a built-in bra for support. And um, I was gonna do this anyway, so that's why I'm sharing it with you. It might not be useful for some of you, but like I said, when I do a project for me, I'm gonna share it with you. So well, that's the project. Here's the old straps. But now, like I said, I have a built-in bra. I'm so excited because now I can wear this and not worry about the girls falling out. <laughs> Okay, well this is Amy with Fashion Toppings. Until next time, you have a great day.